in comparison with being together with Jesus. Wake the children. Oh, Lord Jesus, may you be Get up! Through this. Move! Get up, you fools! Time to meet your God. Don't you have any compassion for the children? Children of fanatics grow up to be fanatics as well. Get out of my way. Move! Move! No! Don't me! Please, take me! Please! 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 Are you trying to bargain with me? Please keep us together! Please take me! Deny your God, or lose your children! Please let the children live! We have done nothing! You and your people are a detriment to our society! No! America has turned its back on God! Are you going to kill us for standing up for truth? Shut up, you ignorant and tolerant bigot! You have broken the law and have been sentenced to death by guillotine. The law states that any force for intolerance is prohibited. Right. What about us? Aren't we protected by law for what we believe? You have been found guilty of proselytizing your way and is punishable by death. The Constitution gives us freedom. That archaic document is gone. It was flawed and replaced. Jesus loves you, sir. He died for you. He rose from the dead so that you know. Take the children. Dispose of them. Then return for the rest. No! Andrew! What?
is this and we better wake up to it. Francis Schaeffer came onto the scene and said we no longer live in a Judeo-Christian culture, meaning Judeo-Old Testament, Christian New Testament, that the ethics and morality of society are derived from the Old and New Testament. He said we now live in a post-Judeo-Christian culture. Well, I believe if Francis Schaeffer were here, he would say what I've been saying now. We better wake up. We no longer live in a post-Judeo-Christian culture. We live in an anti-Judeo-Christian culture. And if you can resolve this riddle, you know what I'm talking about. If you can resolve this riddle, you will know already what has happened. Why? Why? Is a crucifix a cross in a jar of urine tolerance? Mm -hmm. But a <laughs> rainbow, a gay symbol, Cody, just a minute, in a buddy. jar of urine is intolerance and will not be stood for. And you can resolve that riddle. Okay, I'm coming, boy. You know Just a minute. And you will know what has already happened. Now what's going to happen? All right, what Cody, I'll get it. Happened, happened. And now the workings of it is being worked out. We no longer live in a Judeo, post-Judeo Christian culture. We live in an anti- What's the matter, boy? Judeo Christian culture. Cody, okay, buddy. Just a minute. I'll be there. Hey, bro. Man, where you been? Hey man, look, is mom and dad home? No, they went out. Well, they'll be back sometime soon, I think. Come on in. Listen, I just, I just wanted to give this to you. Why? It's yours. It's not me anymore. I don't have any use for it. Instead of throwing it out, I thought I'd give it to you. Mom and dad gave this to you when you became a Christian. Now, what does that mean, Andrew? Becoming a Christian is what they wanted. And now I don't even care what they want. But God cares for you, 
Steve, you mean to tell me that after all these years you haven't realized that Jesus loves you? And he wants you to be his own. He's got a plan for your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of all this stuff. I've heard it all my life. It means nothing to me. If there really is a God, then, then, then he'll have to... Oh, man. Steven. It's been a while. What do you want this time? I don't need nothing from you, man. Nothing!
must behold the kindness and the severity of God. We must behold the kindness and the severity of God. We must behold the kindness and the severity of God. We must behold the kindness and the severity of God. For crystal, yeah, I bet you are. Yeah, she's fine. You gonna get oh, some of that? Take me too. Check down the mirage. She was there when we left. Hey, baby, come here. Ooh, look at you. You want some of this? Hmm. <laughs> Listen. Where's Crystal? Oh, what do you want her for? I could give you more than anything. Look, I've got to talk to her. It's about last night. I... Fine. She's inside. Check in the web room. I guess you didn't get enough last night. That's what I... <laughs> here. Come over here. Y you want to do it here? No! <laughs> Crystal, you're drunk. Listen to me. Last night was... different. I... I feel like I... I went too far. I care about you. Me? You care about me. You're beautiful. There's more to life than what you see. What is there in life that I have not seen? What about a man who loves you? Somebody who cares about you, instead of what they can get from you? How long are you going to live like this? I'm going to die like this, Stephen. No, you're not. You're going, you gotta get out of here. You're, you gotta leave. You, you gotta pray and do something. Pray? To who? <laughs> I... Man, what did that guy give me? <laughs> what guy? The one I'm supposed to pray to? <laughs> no! <sighs> oh my god. Where is he? <laughs> Trippin' before midnight, Stephen. <laughs> How cute! <laughs> Crystal, 
Where are you? Crystal! What? What is this? Listen, where's Crystal at? She's gone, she... man. Gone? She'll be, man. What? She's dead. Dead? Where is she? The meat wagon's outside. Outside? Oh my god. She, she, she was just here. She. And I know you love us. Oh Lord, I seek your face with all my heart. I have nowhere else to go, my God. I believe in you, Lord. My hope is in you. Search me, oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the everlasting way. Thank you. But Father, I am weak. I have no power of my own. Only by the blood of Jesus can I stand against this enemy. For years they have blinded my brother's eyes. They lied to him and he listened. But he is yours, Lord. He knows who you are and you know him. Father, silence these spirits of darkness and cleanse this place in the name of Jesus. Release him, Lord, from the grip of death. Heal and restore his body and draw him close to you, Father. He is broken before you, O oh God. Broken. Oh, Jesus. You were broken like that, and you did it for us, for Stephen, oh, my brother, my brother. You were pierced for our transgressions, you were crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon you, and by your wounds we are healed. Jesus, remember when you called back Lazarus from the grave. Remember how much you loved him. When you looked each other in the eye and embraced, I want to do that with my brother. I want to see him smile. I want to see him. Oh, Father God, heal him. Bring him back to me in the name of Jesus. This sickness will not end in death. No, it is for your glory that your son may be glorified through it. Do it, Father. Receive glory through this, oh God. Destroy the work of Satan in plain view of this pagan world. They're watching, Father. Show them your power. Oh God. Oh my God. I believe you, Lord. I believe. 
you are my master! Do your work, Lord! Do it now!
spirit of darkness in this place to stand up and listen to my words. I have no authority of my own, but only through the blood of Jesus I stand. I stand clean before him. I serve notice to you, Satan, that you are defeated. The Lord Jesus Christ has saved me from eternal punishment with you. So get out of my life. You waste my life dangling pleasures and power before my eyes. And where did it take me? Nowhere. Can you stand next to Jesus, Satan? Does not his very presence make you cower before him? His blood demands your subjection. My ears of anger toward God has turned to my hatred toward you. Move on, Satan. You have no residence here anymore. And what about this audience before me? Do they not look to me for answers? I give them Jesus. I give them Jesus. What would you give them, Satan? More deception? More lies? More blindness? Jesus has opened my eyes because my brother prayed for me. So now I pray for them. Take your hands off them. In the name of Jesus, release them from your grip of carnality. I bind you, Satan. I bind you, spirits of darkness. Depart from this place now. The blood of Jesus has defeated you, Satan. All power has been given to me through the Holy Spirit who dwells in me. I'm a joint heir with Jesus, a covenant in the very family of Jehovah God. He is my master now.
and he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become